So the NFL has did the official schedule release yesterday, and with that, of course, the Washington Commanders have their brand new schedule for the NFL season of 2022. So let's get into that. And as you can see, last year, or in my last video rather, uh, we talked about the Washington Commanders possibly playing the Detroit Lions on Thanksgiving for the first time, I think, in history that the Commanders would be playing the Lions on Thanksgiving. Well, guess what? That's not happening. We are actually playing them in the second week of the season in September. So there are actually no Thanksgiving days or Thanksgiving games rather for the Washington Commanders. And I'm kind of I'm kind of relieved by that. I don't really care to be, I guess, anxious on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, I mean, <laughs> um, just because, I mean, I love watching football, but, you know, to try to make sure that I am at a TV set to be able to watch my favorite team play when I probably should be focusing on my family, blah, 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 you know. Um, it's just, it can be stressful, so I'm kind of glad that the Commanders are not playing on Thanksgiving. If we take a look at this, uh, we open the season uh, against the Jaguars at home. Um, so, of course, everybody's already penciling in or maybe even putting in a, a permanent magic marker of a win there. Who knows, possibly. But um, certainly, Washington is tied with the Dallas Cowboys for the easiest schedule in the NFL. So there you go. Um, I mean, it does look like it's a it's a fairly uh, winnable schedule. I mean, you know, you, you start the season off with the Jaguars, and then you go to Detroit, and then it's going to be interesting come you know weeks three and four when you're playing the NFC East. It wasn't like it was last season where you had like one NFC East game and then. No more until the end of the season. Uh, they're actually spread out a little bit more this season. Um, we play the Eagles at home. That should be a good matchup, you know, with Carson Wentz, of course, um, going against his former team that drafted him a few years back. Then we head off to the Cowboys, um, and then we come back home. And the Titans game is going to be... A very interesting game indeed. And as you could look at this, we don't have back-to-back -back home games. Isn't that interesting? No back-to-back -back home games uh, until you get to January. And January looks like, okay, we have back-to-back -back home games. Maybe December. Um, well, no, uh, not even December. So we got back-to-back -back road games in November, but it's going to be, you know, at home, on the road, at home, on the road. So, I mean, that in itself, I don't think is what I would consider an easy schedule. Um, but at the same time, overall, you're looking at this, and you're seeing a lot of teams uh, that will have brand new quarterbacks, and you don't know how they're going to fare with this. Um, so this is going to be interesting. I, I really think this is a definitely a winnable schedule for the Washington Commanders. Going to be a lot better of a schedule than what it was last season, I, I do believe. Of course, you know, the Green Bay one is always going to be interesting. Of course, that's a home game for us. Um, but, and of course, the Kirk Cousins game, <laughs> we never call it the, the game against the Vikings. It's the game against Kirk Cousins. And so that that one, you know, that that's going to be at FedEx. So... Interesting. I mean, overall, uh, it's going to be, I think, a, a rather easy, easier schedule. But as we all know, things appear to be tough or easy on paper until you actually get the team out on the field and they start playing. And then 
you start seeing how teams have improved or declined. A lot of times, you know, teams make moves during the offseason, and those moves aren't always the best moves, or they are great moves, but then you start to get injuries piled up, and then that changes the tone of the season for those teams. So let's see how things go. Um, you know, right now, this is really the make or break year for the Washington Commanders. They have to make the playoffs. And I think not only that, but they have to win a playoff game. I think those two things are a must this year for Ron Rivera. I don't think it's just simply make the playoffs and then one and done. No, I think they have to make the playoffs this year and they have to win a playoff game. We have not won a playoff game in, I want to say, it has been, oh, what, um, 18 years maybe? I don't know. It, it, it has been a long time since this team has won a playoff game. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section below of the schedule. Very favorable schedule. Only thing I don't like is the at home on the road, at home on the road thing. But other than that, easy schedule for the Washington Commanders. Uh, they should start off on a hot streak, I think. I really think you're going to see the Commanders really starting off strong. Maybe 3-0. Who knows? Uh, they really do need to, to be strong out of the gate. Uh, Carson Wentz needs to be strong out of the gate. Uh, I think that's that's going to really to, to show how this team's going to finish is how they're going to start. Uh, I think that's how it's going to be. So let me know down in the comments section. If you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. You can use your subscriptions. And with that said, hell to the Washington Commanders. Let's go Maniacs. Let's go to the next video. Hey.